Hi guys, Bobby Gas here. This is a scooter update. I uh, I finally got a hold of them people at GoFundMe. Once I uh, deleted the GoFundMe, I couldn't get in and see what was going on with the money or anything like that. They would just show me a picture of like right now the video, right? So I didn't know what was going on. So I, you know, I I, I tried to contact me. It took me a while, but I finally got a hold of them. And uh, what I did see, though, at the end of it was that the, the GoFundMe uh, project had about uh, $4,400 in it. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. <coughs> and uh, the uh, GoFundMe project, they take out $148, $149 out of the, the money as a fee, right? I was wondering, you know, what their angle was in all this, and they could get a percentage, eh? A percentage what would that be uh, let's see now uh, 149 no 148 dollars divided by uh, 4400 so that's 4400 into 148 that's uh, 0 0.0388 and then some more numbers that's enough so that's uh, you know 0.388 is like 3.9 percent that's uh, that's an awful lot of percentage points ain't it <laughs> you know 0388 that's that's a lot of percentage it ain't the you know the mob though hey eh? that was uh, six for five right 20 percent was a mob but uh, collection companies, they get more than that, don't they? Anyhow, I'll show you the, uh, the email I got from the, uh, the GoFundMe guy that, you know, breaks it down, you know, how they're paying the money and all of that. Here, let me get this camera. I don't know. Can you see that? Anyhow, it reads, thanks for the response, Robert. My name is Moonham, and I would like to step in while Ab Hit is out. <laughs> Great names, fellas. I'm sick. Don't be calling me a racist, for fuck's sakes. I'm not used to names like that, you dumbasses. <laughs> I I I'm seeing uh, you've added your bank details to the account, ending in, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, one, 196.22 has been transferred on August the 17th. Uh, 1,867.25 has been transferred on August the 20th, or will be. You should receive funds in two to five business days. Also, your recent donations of 2,279. 93 Canadian dollars are verified within two to three business days from their donation date and will be sent once funds are available. There isn't anything else you need to do at this time. If you've misunderstood in any way, please let us know so we can assist you further. Best regards, Muno from Customer Care. Well, let's put this thing back here. Get rid of this uh, page. There we are, back. So, you know, but I, you know, for the guys that think that it's all a scam and, you know, poor Patrick is, uh, uh, what, what were they calling him, a hustler, something like that. Boys and girls, cut it out. <coughs> I already talked to the emo guy, Ozzy's his name. I don't know, can you see any of that kind of stuff up there? It's way up in Mississauga, Dundas, but... The last bike I bought was downtown in Toronto, the only other one in Toronto at the time. And they didn't put the bike together tight. I, a month after I had it, the handlebars were going like this. There was all kinds of issues, and I had to, well, it was difficult fixing it. That's why they didn't do it right. Anyhow, so, uh, the, the, you know, uh, the scooter is everything's fine in Jim Danny. The only problem I got now is trying to find insurance. Well, I got a couple other problems, but, but I'm going to be dealing with that in a rather, uh, well, my way. Also, <laughs> you won't believe this, but the society, the government, thinks I'm an upstanding citizen. 
I just got a mandatory jury eligibility forms. The eligibility took you know a form. <laughs> Me, your outstanding citizen. I, I, I'm going to be really hard on the criminals. I always was, right? I, I, I always believed in tough love and. I never mind treating these people with kid gloves and horse shit like that. I sure hope I'm on a trial of some guy who stole a scooter. I'll be locking him up. He'll be on uh, bread and water and the key's going to go in the river. Anyhow, that's an update, guys. Later.